It was in the early stages of the eruption of the latest uh, upheaval in the Swartz and volcanic system when we had this uh, tongue of the lava from the cave one crater uh, almost touching the defenses of the Swartz and power plant. This was the tongue of the lava I'm talking. That's the direction of the uh, flow. It uh, crossed the road which connects the north to toward Grindavik. Uh, this is the beautiful setting of the Swartzengi, and just uh, today we see this. And uh, the lava has approached and overwhelmed part of the uh, defense. And that's the reason we have to use the firefighters to come and actually pour water, spray water over this lava to cool it down. When it cools down, it forms a barrier. It acts like a defense wall itself. So this operation was going on all through the last night and today, as you can see here. I'm just brightening up the image so you can see the context better. Uh, these are all from MBL. The beautiful map they have provided also shows that. And uh, I marked, this is in, near the Selingofell, to the north of the Swartzengi defense wall, that area. And this is where we have, uh, we had this experience of cooling down the lava in the past. I have a video about it. I'll put it here for you. This is one of the my most popular videos, I think. As the world knows, uh, Grindavik, the port town in the Iceland's the Reckoners Peninsula, is in danger because of an imminent eruption may cut through the town and reach the sea. Uh, there are potential other ways also, but that depends where the eruption happens. We have the swarms of earthquake and a seal is formed under the Grindavik up to the Swartzengi power plant. We are trying to save the power plant, but not yet the town itself. Uh, this is not something new. Hey May Island in Iceland in 1973 was in the similar situation. We had a volcano eruption there. Uh, it was one of the iconic uh, um, times in, uh, in the volcanology, because for the first time uh, we tried and we successfully stopped the lava flow by pumping water onto it. The lava was almost covering one-fifth of the town, and we tried every second 400 liters of water was pumped and also directed by lane pipes onto the uh, town. This is the iconic image of my time. And is world famous probably. Before the water and after the water went there, we pumped it over there. It solidified the lava, stopped it from moving, and then we were able we were able to clear uh, the town, the port. And uh, now, even after those all those years, the town is back on its knees. The fissure that erupted, you can see the black line coming from diagonally, and you can see in the aerial photograph of the area, uh, this region, how it affected the whole town. This is very similar to what we have at Grindavik, in the Grindavik today. And uh, it is quite possible that we successfully can stop this lava flow by uh, pumping water. We need very big, powerful pumps. I have videos about the situation where lava flows enters the sea. And what happens when such a thing happens? And also before that, with the lava boats uh, that can put life and property in danger. Apocalyptic views of lava flow from the Cumbre Vieja volcano. Now two months has passed. Volcano has not stopped. It's coming directly from the core mantle boundary, like a welding torch made a hole in the uh, Atlantic Ocean and created the La Palma originally, now is adding to the land mass of the island. But the lava is flowing down the hills, going toward the ocean. This is the flow that nothing can stop it. I will show you a map that shows how it uh, moves toward the uh, sea, where, where it has covered actually. When it reaches the sea, it just looks like Jurassic Park. Things are falling down, rolling down. The seawater waves are coming toward the uh, headland created by these lava flows. Any moment you may see a dinosaur coming out of the Royal King Kong. And that is how it looks. This is a 3D model we have created and it shows the lava flow 
where it ended up on the sea. The older ones, you can see that they are created layered lava as cliffs that we see. It's an apocalyptic view. It's a very strange phenomenon. What is a lava boat? This is a phenomenon we see when we have a volcanism and the lava which is flowing is very viscous and it can flow easy and because uh, on the way it faces boulders and rocks from the either the native or previous eruptions of itself even its own solidified lava uh, it can keep them floating on top of it they're less dense than the lava uh, flowing underneath and they float on it and they can be carried by the flow of the lava as you can see it takes a while sometimes because the level of the or the slope of the uh, flow is not much but then they enter a pool of lava and you can see that they float on it this one was sinking almost and as you can see here it can be blocked uh, even in the lava channel when the sides of it are solidified and forming a kind of barrier like a groove inside of it the lava is yet hot and flowing it can carry pieces of its own wall. Uh, this is also again from the La Palma. As you can see huge, that boulder is probably near 10 to 15 meters. And uh, there are examples of it uh, in elsewhere. This one was really interesting in that sense. It just was uh, seen for a long period of time from the source, almost the source, to where it was actually deposited eventually they will be stopped you know they get a stock somewhere they stay there and as they are in contact with the lava they're all the time cooling it down solid in contact with the hot liquid they absorb the heat from it and gradually just the flow gets thicker and it cannot flow as it used to so this viscosity will increase and makes the lava to solidify in that sense it will form a kind of like an island and the, any flow can flow around it. This is from the La Palma, as you can see, the eruption 2022. And this is flowing very uh, rapidly and uh, carrying the raft with it. These are rafts or lava boat carried by the uh, flow of the lava, as you can see here. It's quite, uh, yeah, quite deep actually, probably five, six meters deep and the sides are solidified as you saw. So it can be carried a long distance if it is like that, the volume is too high. 